Welcome to another daily cinephile vlog. I don't know how many people remember video now, but I actually did a video on this a couple years ago on my main YouTube channel. It was back when I had a running series I called The Cinephile, which looked back on different movies and uh, products of my childhood. But video now was the last in that series that I did. I always wanted to talk about it because it was something that came and went. I didn't think many people discussed video now. It didn't really make a huge impact, but it was something that I owned as a kid. I enjoyed it enough, but it was overtaken pretty quickly by DVD players, uh, the portable DVD players anyway. So video now became pretty pointless, but it was cool at the time. They would release movies or, or actually uh, little uh, episodes of cartoons on mini DVDs are actually right here. It was very similar to mini DVDs, as you can see here, which broke the film onto three discs. Uh, this was a pretty pointless gimmick because uh, why buy this when you can just buy regular DVDs? This really made no sense. And it seemed like they just made these to cash in on any dumb consumer out there who'd be willing to buy it. These didn't last very long, but it was essentially the same thing as a video now, except the video now would play the disc on an incredibly small screen and in very bad quality. Even on the cover for this packaging, the quality of the movie that they used to promote it is actually higher quality than what it eventually turns out to be. I actually own a collection of other Video Now tapes. I, I have two gray Video Nows, mine and my sister's. I have never seen a red one before. My cousin had a blue one, but this is the first time I've ever seen it in red. And I made a mistake. I actually thought that this was the packaging that came with Agent Cody Banks 2 on Video Now. But as you can see here, it's actually just the making of Agent Cody Banks 2. But as you can see, the quality is just awful. When a movie is being filmed, it's the director that makes sure everything is going in the right direction. Oof. Sort of like but this is, uh, because there's no scratches on the screen, it does look a little bit better than my own player that I had from when I was a kid. There actually is a release of the first Agent Cody Banks on Video Now that comes as three discs. I don't think this uh, Video Now lasted long enough for the second film to even be released on Video Now. It's always been a goal of mine to at least own one movie on every format. I mean, up there I do have my one Betamax of Raiders of the Lost Ark. I, of course, have a lot of laser discs over there. So... I have a bunch of different formats, but I don't own anything on video now as a full movie. I own some of the cartoons. I now own this making of disc, but it looks like I have to go out and buy Agent Cody Banks, the first one on video now, because I know at least that one exists. But anyway, do you remember video now? Thanks for watching.